Ninja Gaiden Black! The Dark Souls before Dark Souls! After several weeks and dozens of deaths, skillful gamers finally make it to this area. It's the second level. Call the American Embassy! My lad Ryu Hayabusa, in order to retrieve a stolen legendary sword, barks on an adventure through towns, cities, crypts, caverns, and flipping blimps. Wanna blow us all to shit, Sherlock? Critics praise the game for the multitudinous environment. And not only that, but there is a great number of them. Wait, 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 let me do that again. This game left me so beaten and bruised that I will just race through what makes it incredible, okay? I like how everything in the combat is fast and fierce. The pacing and platforming are swift. The graphics still shine. And I can't tell you how much I love the feeling when you finally slay these bosses. Yes! I'm alive! Victory! I'm going outside to dance! Oh! And check this out! Ryu is like a gust of wind sent by the wind gods themselves! Like a deadly warrior of Valhalla! Like an ostrich. I can't deny that the Bayonetta and Dark Souls games have developed upon this gameplay, and maybe some stages made me cry. But you know me, I've never been emotional in my life. <laughs> but this is still one of my favorite hack and slash titles, even though it also has those terrifying moments in games when the enemies suddenly begin tearing you apart and threaten to ruin all your progress.